In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an integration between Canvas and Flipgrid and how to create Flipgrid assignments in Canvas. So the first thing you wanna do is open up the course that, you're, uh, that you want your students to use Flipgrid in. Then you're gonna add Flipgrid, the app, to your course. So you're gonna click on Settings. You're gonna to go to Apps. So it was probably in Course Details. You're gonna to go to Apps. And then in here, you're gonna type for Flipgrid. Click here and you're going to add the app. Now, before we can add the app, we need a consumer key and a shared secret. So these are things that we're gonna get from Flipgrid and we're gonna input them here. So now you're gonna go into your Flipgrid account. So if you have not signed in already, you can go to admin.flipgrid.com and then just sign in using whatever login. So probably your school email. Um, and it should take you into here. If you've never used Flipgrid, you won't have any grids yet. So it'll ask you to create a grid, but we'll do that in a little bit. So the first thing you wanna do is create an integration for Canvas. So where your name is, you're gonna click on the dropdown and click on integrations. And you're gonna to choose to add a new integration. You can give it a title, I'll call it Algebra One Test and hit create. Now by doing that, it's gonna give you your consumer key and your shared secret. So these are what you're gonna input into your Canvas course. So you can just click copy, paste it in, click copy, paste it in, hit add app, add app. And now it says the app was successfully added. So you can now see that it's installed. So now we have the ability to make um, assignments using Flipgrid. So now that we've done this integration, what we're gonna do is create an assignment using Flipgrid and the external tools. So you'll go wherever you will to create your assignments. Um, I personally use modules, but if you wanted to create them in the assignments, you can do that as well. Um, so I'm gonna create mine through my modules, but whatever way you create your assignments, this is how you're gonna do it. So from the modules, you can just click the little plus and create a new assignment. So I'll call this Flipgrid test. Click add item. Now I haven't actually, I just created the assignment, but all the details weren't created yet. So that's one uh, slow part about doing it through the modules, but it automatically puts it in the module that I want it to. So go ahead and click in and we're gonna start editing the details. So edit, if you want to put any sort of um, information before the Flipgrid assignment, you can in here, but you're also gonna have um, some an opportunity to edit the details in the Flipgrid itself. So you can go ahead and assign it some points. You can choose what assignment group you want it to go into. Um, and then here for submission type, you're gonna cho choose external tool and you're gonna click find and you're gonna choose Flipgrid. Hit select. Now it doesn't look like anything is gonna happen, but then you go ahead and set your due date. So I'll set it for tomorrow and we will hit save. So now that we have saved this, it's gonna ask you to connect your Flipgrid to Canvas. So basically what's happening now is it's gonna automatically create a grid in your Flipgrid that is linked to this course. So you're gonna click create a course grid and it has now done that. So you can see your grids are here. This is the title of the grid. Now, when you're thinking about grids, grids essentially are equivalent to your courses in Canvas. So this entire course, along with all of the sections. So if you have multiple periods of the same course, they're all linked to this same grid. So a grid is essentially like the course where the topic is kind of like the assignment. So now it's asking us to, um, it automatically created an, a topic or the assignment within that grid, and you can edit your assignment details from there. So you can add a topic focus. This is like uh, where you can record a video to give them a prompt or you can upload a video um, you can add a Google Doc, any sort of prompt that you want. And then this, it says the topic is generally uh, gen uh, automatically generated from a Canvas assignment. You can choose to keep this or you could delete it. So you can say, this is your prompt. And you can type whatever you want in there. You can adjust the recording time. If you want the videos to be moderated, meaning students can't see them until you approve them, you can turn that on. Um, you can give like a helpful hint or topic there. Uh, if you wanted to attach a Google Doc, this is where you would do it. You can link a Google Doc and give it a title there. 
Um, require email for responses. You can choose all those, all these different features. So once you've created your topic, you can just click update topic. And then you should be ready to record. So you can see this is where it says this is your prompt. And now if this, when the students log in, they should be able to um, record their response. So one thing that is kind of important probably, so if we go back into Flipgrid and we go back to our grids, you can now see this grid here and it has this little Canvas logo. This tells you that we're using a Canvas integration. Um, and then you can see that the one assignment that we created is right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the student view. Um, oh, actually I need to publish this assignment first. So from the module, let's publish this. So if I look at the student view, what will I see? So the students log in, they go into their modules. So you can see that there, they can either click there or they can go through the modules. This is our assignment here. When the student clicks in, it takes them into this, where they would then reply to the, uh, to the prompt. If they're using something like a Chromebook, they can just click on the big green button and now you can see me, right? We can just start doing our recording there. Um, if they're using the cell phone and they want to record their uh, they want to record their response, they're going to be prompted to open the app or download the app. So they will be required to have the Flipgrid app on their phone if they're trying to record with their phone. Um, so hopefully this is helpful and good luck.